At 34, Lauren Holder makes all of her father Steve's medical decisions. Steve is 62 and has Huntington's disease. Lauren works full time and has two young children. She's tried putting her father in a nursing facility, but since COVID-19 began... Not even 24 hours after he was there, they called me and told me to pick him up because he uh, was wandering and they were afraid of him going into an isolation room. Finding care is tough. The process of getting care at home is extremely hard. Um, there are wait lists for care through Medicaid. Um, so it's just been one battle after another. Huntington's affects a person's ability to reason, walk, and speak. Dr. Robert Friedlander is a neurosurgeon with UPMC in Pittsburgh. He studies the disease and how to treat it. It's a chronic neurodegenerative process. Chronic means it just goes on very slowly over a long period of uh, time. Lauren's father is at the point in his diagnosis where he often forgets a pandemic is going on. Seeing people in masks scares him. They don't know who you are and what's going on. It confuses people. The stress of the situation motivates Lauren to spread awareness and advocate for more research on Huntington's. She too has the disease. I've always thought, okay, I want a cure, but if we could just even get a treatment to make quality of life better, it would be amazing. Talking about different options and different therapies where as of very recently, there were no options. Dr. Friedlander is researching a potential cure through a company called Newbase. So far, they've been able to eliminate the broken gene in animals. It could take several years before the company runs trials on people. Until then, Lauren continues to fight for the care she says her father deserves. Constantly thinking, how, like, how am I going to maneuver this? How am I going to make sure he gets the care he needs without him losing quality of life? In Winston-Salem, Michelle Wolf, Fox 8 News.